Hi, right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Solo Garage. Today we're going to be working on Project Atom again. Uh, we're going to be doing something quick, simple. Just a valve cover gasket change. I had been meaning to do this last week. Um, and I will show you guys what happened. So, this kit right here, see if I can get a close up of that number. Um, got this from the dealership. Um, it comes with pretty much everything you need. Uh, but these, you guys will see in a minute, uh, come as one piece on your engine. And I'm sure there is a way of taking them off. But I didn't want to damage anything, so I went ahead and went to Honda again. Ordered them. I will give you guys the numbers and everything later. But there is two long ones, three short ones, if I'm not mistaken. And we also got a Olafil cut to replace our shitty looking ones. So, that is the plan for today. Let's get started. Alright, so we've removed our spark plug wires. And as you can see, they're clearly have been leaking around these seals on top, especially these three right here. Um, all we should need is this 10 millimeter socket. I'm using a small extension with a 3 8 ratchet. And then should just be one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven bolts to come out. Uh, these are just clips. It is for your spark plug wires, and this is just to hold in your uh, looks like your clutch line. Oh no! Sorry, that is your gas pedal. Um, and before you guys say anything, I know it is a fucking mess in this engine bay. Hopefully we'll clean it up soon. But let's get for to removing these bolts. Alright, so here's the bolts. And like I said, there's really no way to get that out. I'm sure there is, but I don't see a good way of actually without damaging these seals. Um, not even sure why they sell them separate like that. But everything has been taken off. Like I said, we're gonna get rid of this crappy looking cap. I came with the car and go back to OEM and then. I did forget one thing, we will have to take this hose off right here. Alright, now you just pull. And there you have it. The valve cover gasket. So, we are also replacing these seals in here. Jeez. Which we're going to have to pick out. <laughs> um, also, I am going to quickly try to clean up as much as this is possible. Um, this old gasket material. So these seals obviously have never been replaced. Because they're just stuck on there. All they're doing is breaking them like stiff. I mean they're 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 just hard as hell. So slowly breaking them apart. But so much for being an easy job. Alright, so finally managed to get them out. I 
I did have to pry on this side, oops, sorry, on this side right here with a flathead screwdriver. Uh, my pick set just wasn't doing anything because of how hard the seals were. Um, I did go a little too hard, so be careful with that. Hopefully I didn't damage anything too much. Um, but pretty much got this as clean as we're going to get it without going too thorough with it. Um, I do plan on painting this. Uh, hopefully here soon. Not sure how soon with all the other stuff that I want to do this car first. But there's that. You also got uh, this all cleaned up. So, I'm going to put the seals back in and get her all tightened up. Alright, so here's a new seal itself. It's pretty stiff. So, I'm sure there's a way to get these out easier. But, now to put these back on too. So, there's a new valve cover gasket back in place with the. Um, spark plug seals in place as well. Uh, here is the number for the oil filler cap. Here is the number for for the long ones. And the number oop, for the short ones. So let's get finishing up. Alright, my dumbass had put these on backwards the first time, so this is the correct way to put them on, or else they won't slide into here. So here are the new bolts. They're actually going to make this look a little cleaner. And I wish I would have bought these other miscellaneous bolts, just to make everything match. Um, but one thing I did read, I don't have a torque wrench uh, that will tighten these down. Um, mine only goes from 20 to 100, and we need to go lower than that. Um, but pretty much tighten these down in an order, and then go back through and finish tightening it down. So snug at first, and then kind of give it another last bit, but in that same pattern. All right, there she is, all finished up. Looking a whole lot cleaner. Um, now just to put the spark plug wires back in and see if we have any leaks. All right, I'm gonna let her run for a little, but it doesn't look like we have any leaks, which is great. Um, like I said, something super quick and simple. Uh, hopefully I will have something a little more uh, in detail next weekend. Uh, a little suspension part for Project Adam. Um, kind of thing. Uh, we also need to eventually change the uh, oil drain pan gaskets and figure out what all we're leaking down there. Um, okay. It's a problem with old cars, man. <laughs> uh, just all sorts of uh, maintenance uh, issues apart from whatever you're trying to upgrade. Um, but that is it for today guys. Actually, let me shut off the car real quick. Alright, so we are at 240 subscribers, three away from 250. Uh, like I mentioned before, once we hit 250 I want to do a special giveaway. Uh, not like the one I did when we hit 100. Um, you guys will 
see when we actually hit 250 and I make the video. Um, but I, I want to make it a little more special this time. Um, but uh, again, thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments, tips, anything you guys would like to see, again, you guys can leave them down below in the comments. Um, but that is it for now. And in the meantime, I hope you guys are staying safe. Also, I've been forgetting the damn motto. So, also, keep fucking going, you guys. No matter what, just keep fucking going. And I will see you guys on the next one.